Welcome to another edition of the YouTube channel Plugin Police and Too Many Plugins. Uh, today we're going to talk about the new version of Traction Waveform that just came out. It is version 13 of Traction Waveform. Uh, here we're going to talk about uh, both uh, the free version and uh, the paid version. Uh, a lot of up, uh, uh, updates and uh, polishing and bug fixes uh, also transform themselves to uh, the free version. Of course, in the pro version, you have more extra plugins and synthesizers and uh, a couple of extra, extra editing features uh, to uh, help you uh, um, improve your workflow and to make it a little bit easier for you. But uh, still, the free version keeps on being a completely unlocked uh, uh, DAW uh, with all the features that you need and you can then self act at expansions there um, um, uh, from uh, tr from traction themselves so uh, other synthesizers drum machines and instruments that you need and uh, of course also sample packs uh, uh, they can all be edited because a traction uh, waveform is uh, modular so you can edit yourself uh, extra uh, expansions the ones that you need or you can go for the pro version you get then already a lot of extra features and instruments and synthesizers and then you can yourself uh, add expansions to that uh, or add yourself just free plugins so that's the nice thing of attraction uh, waveform um, a big disclaimer um, uh, i'm not affiliated with the, with traction uh, in any way i don't receive anything for this so uh, uh, this is all just my uh, my opinion but uh, in terms of daw and uh, uh, their business model and the way that uh, that they work with uh, uh, both their free users and their paid users and the way that uh, their, their, their business model works and their philosophy works, uh, I agree very much. This is why I support uh, Attraction Waveform. Uh, uh, so I'm completely independent. Uh, my channel is not monetized. So uh, if, uh, if you want to help out the channel, then you can find me at, uh, on my uh, YouTube page and the plugin uh, police uh, slash uh, Patreon uh, where you can... Uh, uh, donate uh, to 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 help help the channel. Uh, I'm just joking. Well, don't send me any money because I will waste it on uh, on uh, new uh, studio gear. Um, anyway, um, uh, the new version uh, creates many bug fixes. I have seen uh, 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 the crash lock and uh, w the things they have added in in the new version. Uh, in this moment, by the way, until the eighth of uh, April, is forty percent off on the whole site of uh, Traction. So you can buy Traction Waveform Pro or any of the expansion synthesizers or sample packs with forty percent discount uh, with the discount code uh, Hello Thirteen. Um, uh, what's new? Um, well, uh, what's new? Uh, let us just go first to Pro version. What's new? Uh, new in the Pro version is uh, a clip launcher. And, uh, and that's an improved uh, clip uh, launcher over the previous version. Uh, the clip launcher only works with uh, Waveform Pro or you need to then use uh, Waveform Free and uh, buy yourself the launcher uh, expansion uh, separate. Uh, so there you go. Uh, controller support. Now supports um, um, uh, Ableton controllers, so uh, uh, MPC keys, mini keys, Novation launch keys, the Launchpad and the Launchpad X, uh, which are uh, the Ableton uh, uh, controllers to uh, to trigger um, uh, events in uh, in. Uh, in uh, Ableton uh, on, a v on, a, on a vertical level, so not horizontal. Uh, that's now being added. Also, again, a disclaimer, this is for uh, the Pro version or you need to buy the launcher expansion separate. Uh, then there's a Wavetable Synth, a new one. Um, also included uh, with uh, Traction uh, Waveform Pro. I don't know if they sell this one as a separate expansion. Maybe not yet, but then they will do it later on because normally... Mo normally with the traction they always sell their 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 expansions in separate little little packages uh, a refined uh, a user interface uh, uh, vibrant color uh, matching lanes and general ui responsiveness has been optimized especially with larger projects uh, a new vibrant color so uh, we have an issue with that i'll show you what that is a bunch of things are uh, very uh, saturated and very um, 
pixelated. And there's some things in uh, in the transport mechanism uh, of uh, play and forward and backwards that uh, look very saturated and very pixelated. And uh, they, they went in high contrast. I don't know if that is something with my computer. I'm actually running here a workstation uh, graphics card. So it could be also that... Uh, uh, that's just uh, uh, not optimized in uh, in my driver, and I'm running Direct X 10 in this moment, not uh, 12. Uh, no Direct X 11, but future level Direct X 10. So it could be also my graphics card, the driver that is not optimized for it, because I'm really using a Quadro server workstation card, not a consumer card. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, that's also uh, I'll show you in traction what I mean with uh, saturation and uh, uh, high contrast. That uh, it's oversaturated and the colors there. The, it's uh, too much uh, saturation in it and it's over overexposed or something. It looks really, really weird. I'll show you. And then uh, what was requested by the people uh, to uh, uh, encode recording without having any inputs armed for easier punching option to track, to mute track con content uh, while recording ACA tape style, uh, auto monitoring record mode monitors when inputs are armed. Uh, start flag when playback can optionally uh, start from. Uh, improved Ableton link support with option to sync start stop plus option for manual offset. Uh, Everybody is putting Ableton link support, uh, including many DJ software already have it integrated. So uh, that's also now uh, uh, included in Waveform Pro. So there you go, you know, that's what I mean with some features. Uh, exclusive content from mode audio. Um, uh, it ships with a wealth of, uh, that's in the pro version again, new content uh, for uh, prolific sound design uh, by Team Mode Audio. Uh, so lots of basses and synths, but that's again for the pro uh, version uh, and samples. Uh, so uh, uh, 330 loops, 251 shots, 10 drum sample uh, sample ready kits, plus 100 MIDI files to kickstart your creativity. Uh, can yourself also get free sample packs to buy, uh, also included with Traction Waveform Pro and the Launcher expansion. Uh, so um, these are the new features. I think that in terms of controllers, they're going to probably uh, in the next versions add uh, still some extra controllers over here. Um, about uh, let's go then the free version that uh, just contains uh, just normally what it have been then uh, the updates for 13. So uh, if you want to uh, if you have 12, then uh, you have to go to the traction uh, website and uh, purchase 13. Uh, uh, I didn't got them with me, it didn't work automatically through my uh, download manager, so I needed to really go to the website to update from 12 to 13. So uh, there you go. Of course, compatibility is crazy, eh? most com one of the most compatible, uh, the most compatible uh, DAW out there, Mac OS X 10.15 uh, or later, so it works on very old uh, apples. Uh, then when, uh, Windows 10 and 11 64 bit only, Ubuntu 20.04, so you can go many years back in your Linux version. And then the Raspberry Pi Model 3, uh, but I would probably go more for a Model 4 minimum to do this. Uh, to be very honest, but uh, the minimum requirement is a Raspberry Pi 3 model. B. I wonder how that works. I have no experience with that. I uh, don't know uh, how music production is uh, on an ARM chip like that, but uh, I cannot expect it to be uh, super wild, uh, to be very honest. But it depends what you're doing. But uh, I don't see very advanced uh, projects uh, running on a Raspberry Pi, to be very honest. But uh, then again, I don't know. I've never, uh, I don't have experience in it. Uh, let's go just to. Uh, uh, traction 13. Now I'm going to first advise already that if you're on 12 and you have big projects open, uh, it's not fully compatible to from 12 to 13. So if you op open projects that you have made in 12 or 11, you can get uh, inconsistencies and uh, uh, errors. They warn you even for it when you import some project that you made in Traction Waveform 12 or 11, then it warns you that uh, maybe it doesn't work well. I've used for 24 hours, I've uh, opened several projects and I didn't experience any issue besides one or two times that... Uh, uh, the MIDI conf the, when I was trying to use the, the keyboard that I had pre-configured for MIDI, uh, I needed to uh, re-trigger it. That was just about it. And uh, for the rest, I haven't really experienced any... Um, yeah, and a little bit... Uh, the, the volumes were a little bit strange all of a sudden uh, on the project that I made on Intra Traction 12 when I imported to 13. Uh, for the first time, so I'm going to now test it a little bit more, but I think it's uh, pretty bug-free at 24 hours. I haven't noticed too many bugs. Uh, improvements uh, that are being made, 
reflect themselves more to Traction Pro, uh, not uh, to the free version, uh, in terms of uh, extra functionalities and features. Um, but uh, the GUI has some improvements over here. There are some features added here also. This here now also a green uh, 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 U-Smart uh, thing over here. Uh, uh, what I mean with saturated buttons over here, look over here, this high contrast over here. On my computer it looks very uh, oversaturated, uh, uh, the, uh, this, this over here, and it's a little bit pixelated, these buttons over here. These colors and even the color here from the trigger, uh, the, the red is very saturated. Uh, uh, especially down over here, this looks a little bit uh, weird there, so uh, there you go. They say that uh, for bigger projects, when you have more things open, then uh, uh, I think they implanted higher contrast and a better way to, uh, um, how do you call it, to resize uh, uh, traction uh, and uh, including your track, so there should be improvements over there. Uh, uh, basically, if you're on 12 and you want to go to 13, install it separate next to it and keep on using 12 to open your projects for any future incompat incompatibility. Uh, uh, with me, most things I opened worked really well, but it could be that uh, something that you open all of a sudden, that uh, then an optimization or uh, FX send return or something that you have set up that uh, is not working exactly good. So uh, we are on 13.032, so I, accept, uh, I expect it to be much better on 13.1 uh, something. And, uh, you know, now they went from, they released it with 0, uh, 13. Point 0, 0.032, so these were first all the betas in the alphas, they've sort of tried to work out, but I expect it to be much better on 13.1 uh, uh, something or 13.2 something that uh, probably it's going to be uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty bug free. So uh, that's what I have, uh, my recommendation over here is uh, if you have projects on 11, 12, install it next to it separate and keep uh, 12 to open your project for eventual issues you could have. Uh, by opening a large project and maybe things don't uh, uh, click together in 13 because of the alterations that they made on uh, on Traction Waveform. Uh, of course we have to again uh, give a lot of credit to Traction Waveform uh, uh, because of their business model they keep on uh, having the free users and uh, uh, have a very good business model, I think, uh, where they are not uh, limiting the free users and and they are um, maintaining um, a good a good uh, community by um, by offering uh, traction waveform free and then pro and yet you are always capable of. Um, of keep on using the free the free version and. Uh, um, Upgrade it with your own free plugins or buy their expansion packs that start from 30 euros for a couple of uh, synths and uh, 50 euros for a, a DJ expansion, then an, another 30 euros for uh, I think it's for live uh, uh, podcast audio sync that you can sync uh, video with audio in, in traction, and then there's a bunch of other little. Uh, Packages between 30 to 50 euros that you can uh, upgrade uh, or the free version or the pro version with extra features and synths and instruments. Uh, uh, but you can also just uh, use the free version and uh, download yourself uh, free uh, um, uh, VST plugins and uh, instruments and add them yourself and uh, have yourself a completely 100% uh, uh, functional uh, unlimited DAW to um, to produce your stuff both with their uh, plugins. Um, respect to, to them how they could treat the community and uh, the free and uh, paid users and uh, uh, how they are not uh, like many companies do first they uh, offer something free and then they start like locking things out and uh, uh, yeah, that's not what they do here uh, they give you a full fledged DAW you buy the extra stuff from them if you need it so instrument sample packs and uh, extra features and editing tools and uh, and if you uh, want that then you do that you expand yourself your free or your pro version with advanced features or you download yourself third party uh, three or paid plugins that you buy somewhere else or you download somewhere else and you can 100% use this as a as a DAW so uh, uh, a thumbs up to the the developers and uh, to uh, to traction away from the company for uh, uh, their business model and uh, the way they uh, approach create uh, uh, approach creating a, a very uh, useful and a big users base uh, f in the future both for uh, free and paid users so but there you go that's my review there's lots of uh, uh, 
how do you call that, uh, improvements here, uh, even in the engine, uh, I've seen the log files, there's many improvements uh, also in uh, compatibility with certain media devices and uh, certain errors are uh, are fixed. Uh, it was a log file of about uh, 25 to 30 uh, different issues they have uh, uh, improved uh, uh, over version 12. So there's a lot improved even in the free version and then the extra features you have uh, in 13, the pro version or the expenses that you buy. So uh, thumbs up to traction and um, uh, I'm going to make a follow-up video in a couple of days. I'm going to see if I really uh, find uh, bugs and uh, issues that are uh, really game-breaking. And uh, I keep on saying you can just uh, upgrade, uh, install uh, 13 next to 12. Keep it if you have all the projects in 12. And, uh, in, and uh, you can also just try like I did. I have opened many 12 projects in the new version 13, and most of my projects were working fine. I didn't saw any 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 issue. Uh, uh, so, but I've only uh, experimented it for about uh, 24 hours. Uh, uh, didn't uh, found any instability. Uh, see that he's a little bit flushing his memory better also when I uh, close projects to empty projects, which I really like to see also. So uh, uh, the sound engine I haven't have enough time to see if they improved that a little bit also, but I hope they did but uh, so far um, where I've just a little bit experiment with it uh, it seems uh, very solid so uh, you don't need to be afraid that you're working with a real beta version because it seems to me pretty polished besides these issues that I told you over here that uh, I think they can um, improve still over uh. so there you go that's my review of the new traction uh, Waveform number 13, yes, you should totally download it, uh, upgrade from 12 to 13 or from 11 to 13, and uh, only if you have still a lot of big projects, important projects open, then keep 12 uh, to be able to open them and uh, install 13 just straight next to it. Uh, <coughs> And that you can just uh, do by, uh, instead of using the download manager, that he starts updating 12 to 13, you just go to the website uh, of uh, Traction. And you have to, by the way, also do that if you want to get 13. You have to uh, edit that to the download manager in the website. So you have to go to the website, log in, and uh, acquire 13. And then it's being added. Uh, but then don't download it to your uh, download manager, but just uh, download it separate. Uh, down in the page where you can just find a separate installer and install it like that, then it installs 12, uh, uh, 13, uh, and, um, how do you call that, uh, adjacent to a 12, and then you can just uh, keep on uh, uh, using 12 for your projects you made in 12, and then uh, experiment 13 uh, for a couple of days or a couple of weeks to see if it's really uh, stable and uh, bug-free. Uh. But so far, in 24 hours that I use it, it seems to me pretty, pretty stable. So, But there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, totally worth it. So... Until the next time, stay safe, take care. I'll catch you in the next one.